Hi everyone, this is Kiri for Bramble Fox with a, another process video and I'm using the June Fox Box. Um, I'm using from the Fox Box the story title in black, um, the little bright side phrase um, and the sort of turquoisey rosette. I'm also using paper snips number 27 which come with the Fox Box Plus subscription, um, the Holy Moly set and Fox Cut number 17 sunburst stencil. Okay, so I have pulled out um, the Vicky Booten print shop collection. Um, I thought some of the colours worked particularly well with um, the photo that I'm going to use and um, the perspective. So I'm sort of playing around here with a couple of stri torn strips of the pattern paper. I've got my photo and it's a lovely photo of some rather sort of crushed macarons. Anyway, I'll tell you about that in a bit. Um, and I'm, I'm sort of working out what I'm going to do. I sort of start off with this vertical design. I've got a number of um, layered pieces for the photo, and they're just from one of the pattern papers, the cut apart uh, sheet, and I'm just layering them up. It's a great way just to use those sorts of things up rather than just lay and mount your photo on one piece of pattern paper, just sort of bundle together a few complementary um, of the, the sort of cut apart cards and um, mount them around your photo. Now I'm just distressing the edges like I always do and then I'm just sort of playing around with um, the ones I'm going to use below the photo and I typically just sort of add one on each corner essentially. Um, so I'm sort of working out which ones go and I'm sort of, I think I'm sort of happy with that. I've added this one in because it's actually got that sort of darker purpley colour which is the same as that wide strip that I've got there. So I'm just going to get those um, layered up and mounted so then the photo's ready to go and then I can start to um, get my layers stuck down. I've changed my, oh I'm figuring out this last piece, I'm actually using it slightly, yeah just using it on the um, um, slightly differently there. Okay, um, pulling out, I've got the paper snips. This is number 27 and they come with the Foxbox Plus subscription. Um, and for those of you who are not sure about the Foxbox, if you pop on over to bramblefox.co.uk, um, you can find out all the information about subscribing to the fabulous monthly Foxbox. Um, the Foxbox Plus comes with a few extras, so including the paper snips, that I'm just working with now. So I've used a one inch punch to punch out four of the round um, uh, icons at the bottom and I've got some butterflies and some flowers and then I'm just layering them up with the little epoxy flares that come with your paper snips and um, just really create little like um, fake little flares. So um, and then I'm going to fussy cut some of the flowers out from the paper snips and I'm also just trimming off some of the word phrases as well. I think I've got the um, what a splendid day and the sweetest moments. I do have another one I think um, that I look at but I don't actually use it. Okay so I'm going to fussy cut around um, the, the flowers and um, add them into my embellishment clusters but I won't I won't let you make me you watch me do all of the fussy cutting because it does take a little while okay and then I just curve up the edges of those flowers okay we're done there we go oh sorry it wasn't particularly central was it where I showed those flowers okay and then I've actually um, layered together my pattern papers and if you noticed before there's the circle pattern paper wasn't quite long enough and I have to, had to add a little bit on the end. So there is a bit of a join. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm now I've now decided I'm going with this um, um, horizontal design and I've pulled in the fox cut. This is number 17, the sunburst one, which I really love and I do use it quite a bit. Um, and I've just used it with the distress oxides in saltwater taffy and a tattered rose. And they're sort of going to be sort of coming out from the top of the photo, if you like, to make a bit of a feature of it. So I've now got a couple of um, tags from the um, same Vicky Booten collection that I'm just going to add behind. My initial thought was I would add my journaling to the tags, but I do change my mind later. And now I'm pulling in the fussy cut flowers and um, some of the ephemera from the Vicky Booten print shop collection and some of the other perspectives that come in your Fox box. So I've got the bright side, the phrase perspective, it's in the black over on the right. And then that lovely um, 
turquoisey rosette that I'm just going to add up on the left corner. And I'm just having a look at what other elements I can use. I felt I needed to bring, because I've got the black title, I wanted to add a little bit of black to the top of the um, layout. And I've got this um, long notebook edge sticker that I'm going to use. And then I just, I think I've got um, some phrase stickers there too that say, made me chuckle. Um, okay, so now I've sort of figured out what I'm doing. I'm going to get everything stuck down. Um, so get my um, strips of pattern paper um, down, and then I can start to work on everything and build everything else up. Now, I do need to tell you the story about the macarons. Okay, so there's a lovely photo of a package of what was 16 really lovely macarons. Um, eight of us went to Paris um, pretty recently for um, to go to the version scrap show the scrapbooking show um which was fabulous anyway we had a free day and um myself vicky and wendy decided to do, go and do a bit of a sightseeing tour um vicky hadn't done a lot in um paris before actually so vicky and i we've been quite a few times so come on we'll go we'll go so while we were out we said let's take something back and um we went into this lovely shop that specialized in macarons and we bought a packet of 16 of them anyway vicky just said i'll carry them i'll carry them because Wendy and I had been the sort of tour guides for the for the day. So we got them all around Paris. We finished off in Montmartre in the lovely artist quarter. We're sitting there having a enjoying an Aperol Spritz. And um and as we got up to leave, Vicky got up and realized that she'd been pretty much sort of using the bag of macarons as a backrest. You know, it was an accident, obviously. Anyway, it was very funny. So um, we've had a bit of a laugh about it. So, um, yeah, so this was really what the macarons ended up looking like. So they were pretty squashed, to be fair, quite crushed up. Anyway, they still tasted really good. So that was the main thing. So that's the story of the macarons. Um, anyway, where am I up to? Okay, so I'm now getting things stuck down. The two tags I popped behind the photo, I have just added a little bit of coordinating embroidery thread around um, through the hole at the top. Um, and then I've stuck down, I've got a couple of, I've got the little DIY epoxy flare, the butterfly one at the top there, and some of the um, fussy cut paper snip flowers. And then I'm just building up this bottom and right cluster with the large black camera and then more of the fussy cut flowers and I'm oh I'm just trying to work out if I can get that other um, epoxy flare in in that top piece there and I think I um oh I hadn't stuck it down actually that's the butterfly one um now now I decided to stick down the tags because I had at this point decided that that the journaling is going to go down the bottom of the layout because there was just too much um, to really go onto the tags. So I'm securing the tags in behind the photo now rather than keeping them loose, which was the original plan. Um, okay, and then I'm now just, um, as I can see, just sticking down um, the bottom, that bottom right embellishment cluster, popping in another of the little epoxy, DIY epoxy flares. I've got a fourth one there. It's got a butterfly on, but I do play around with it. And obviously left it, it's been pushed to the top um, and it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't make the final layout. I've just popped down that the bright side, um, the little black sort of phrase um, tab on the right there above the camera. And then I remembered I had the little holy moly's and they were great. They're little round circle um, perspectives that just had a little pop of black. So I'm just um, sticking those down, adding those in and around the top embellishment cluster and that bottom embellishment cluster as well. So I'm just um, adding some glossy accents to make them nice and secure. And you'll see I've, um, off camera, I was just figuring out my title. So I have already stuck down the of the, um, and it's going to be the story of the macarons, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to get the story perspective stuck down, and then I can bring in um, the macarons, which I've already worked out I'm going to use. I thought this colour worked well, and it sort of really highlighted the, um, the actually what the story's about. So just making, I'll get that stuck down and then I am going to make sure it is straight. So there we go, just sort of getting that down. And then I think I'm almost done other than adding, as I say, my journaling or my story below the title, which I will do off camera. 
Okay, and here we have the close-up. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching the process video. Um, I really enjoyed making this layout. It was a really fun story that I was happy to get down um, and journal about. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye for now.